Well, here we are on the first real hunt of 2014. <coughs> and um, just got my first decent find. I don't know if you can kind of see that right there, but it looks like a clad quarter in the hole. And a um, couple new pieces of equipment I got going this year is my Samson Mini Digger. As you can see, that's working really good today because some of the ground is still froze. I also got my Garrett AT Pro out for the first time. And a cute little connector deal here that my daughter bought me for my birthday so that I could put the old headphones on that I had off of my Ace 250, which I like even better because they're a lot smaller and uh, I can fit it over one ear. So there's my pin pointer that I've had, got last year. And I'm at a park in Concord for the first time this year. And you can see out there in the field, it's still pretty snowy around here. There's the basketball courts, still pretty snowed in. And I came by here Monday. This is uh, April 3rd. This is Thursday. I came here Monday to kind of scope it out. And there's this pine grove here that I wanted to hunt in again. Uh, last year when I was here, I got a mercury dime out of here, an Indian head penny out of here. And I'm um, finding way in there. It's still kind of froze. The ground is still pretty hard. So uh, you can still see, even at this late date in April, all the snow out in the field. Right out there where them people are on the other side of that is where I got my war nickel last year. Like I said, this is basketball courts and this is all. We got a lot of snow this year and I think they're even talking about some more sleet coming in tomorrow night. So anyway, I got this bare spot. It's in the sun. Just kind of found a little junk and um, got my first coin of 2014 so uh we'll kind of look at it here and yep it looks like a clad quarter and uh can't see the date on it yet um i don't know it looks like yeah it's one of them centennial deals so whatever but anyway hey i'm out it's close it's in the mid to high 40s and i'm just having a blast so if i get anything good I'll get back to you. Just glad to be out and enjoying the new AT Pro that I got for Christmas and learn how this is going to work and then the new digger and uh, I'm excited so I'll catch you later. Well that was fast because right there is where I just got that quarter and I figured I'd check my hole before I left and here right next to it another quarter. So look at that. Make sure you check your hole. See ya. Okay, I got me a mystery here. I have no idea what this is. It actually looks like a piece of wood. It's kind of light, but it feels like a metal. It's ringing up 3540 on the AT Pro. Um, I have no idea. So if anyone has any idea, you can let me know. Be cool if it was like a little meteor or something but I think that's really stretching it. It doesn't look like it has any those kind of marks on it but um, and it was only a few inches down uh, maybe three four at best so if you have any ideas of what this is uh, they'd be really helpful you can see the size of it in my hand and um, so it's a mystery and, uh, that's it. If I find anything else, I'll put it on. Well, I wanted to show you what I just found. I'm deeper here in the uh, in the grove a little bit. I was out there where it was more sunny. Ground was a lot softer in here. It's still kind of frozen. But I just got a 53 <clears throat> on the Garrett and it's usually about a nickel range. And um, so I was able to dig down through the hard ground and this is what I came up with. It's a Jefferson nickel, but it's been stamped with the number 41. I don't know if you can see that. It's a 1980, and on the back side, it's all blue. So it's obviously been coated with something. It's obviously stamped with something. And I believe, when I look at it, it's a 1980 Jefferson nickel. 
But uh, if any of you guys got any ideas, that's kind of a mystery. Stamped with the number 41. And then um, all blue. And I don't know what that is on there. It's on there pretty good. So uh, interesting. You never know what you'll find dirt fishing. So uh, I'll get back to you if I find something else. Well, I decided to come back out to the park today. This is Friday, April 4th. And um, I didn't do a wrap up from yesterday's hunt. There wasn't really much that I got. And um, did a lot of digging over here. Out here in this pine grove was still pretty frozen. And then I went out down that end, way out there. And now I'm going to probably do it again. I'm just a little bummed. I just got here to do my digging and forgot my little mini Samson digger. So now I got all I got is my lache and um, it's going to make a tough day, but nothing I can do about it now. I'm here, so we're just going to make the best of it. If I find anything good, I'll get back to you. Well, I haven't really shot anything because there's not been much going on. Um, you can see it's still all snow covered pretty good. I'm over by a <coughs> really big tree here and uh, got this signal about six inches down and figured I did it dig it anyway there's where I dug it up but um, I'm a little bit excited it's actually an old shotgun shell paper one that you know you can see it gone so it's kind of old so that at least tells me you know it's been around here for a while so hopefully I can get some silver which would be awesome I'm just still kind of bumming that I forgot my digging tool at home because man anything that's like six inches down or better this little guy ain't really cutting it you know the, the ground is still partly frozen and it's just tough to dig down there but I'm kind of happy with the uh, shotgun shell been digging a little a lot of pull tabs this morning but hey one of these days they're gonna be a ring see ya well finally got something I can show dug up a nickel and um, I'm not sure the date yet but let's see if I can show you what it rings up on the AT Pro um, because this is part of the problem hopefully you can see that it's ringing up a 50 51 52 kind of blowing out my ears but as you can see on the screen that's really close to a pull tab and I have pulled a ton of pull tabs today so I thought about not digging it and I said what the heck I just go for it and because I did I'm rewarded with my nickel so there we go I don't think it's super a super good one but uh no I think it says 19 sorry I'm kind of looking over the camera 70 maybe 1970 but anyway hey I got something beats pulling pull tabs see ya well I am pumped. I'm here along the road, along this rock wall, and um, I was just over at that tree is where I got that nickel. And as you can see, there's still a lot of snow out here, so I don't have much area to go. And here's a little, I don't know, wet area here. And you can see around here and along this edge and up over that snowbank, there's a big clearing. And I was going to try to go along these trees over here. So, sorry, I got to turn around. I was along this wall and uh, just going along swinging you know some guy walked by with his dog I'm saying hi and all of a sudden um, it started blowing up and right here I found the best find so far of this year and it is an Indian head penny I don't know how well you can see that but um, I think the date is actually 1901 so I am stoked that sucker was down oh three inches or so right here along this rock wall so um hopefully I'm gonna find a few more things along the way but that is awesome and I think it's gonna clean up pretty good because I can still see some copper under there and um, I believe it's a 1901 Indian head penny hey that made my day see ya well, I'm going to do a wrap up of my last two days. It was not really that adventurous, but um, here's the cloud I got. I got some that I didn't bring out, but um, you know, this was kind of today. Um, what I find is interesting, this 
This dime at the bottom is a 1999. The one right above it's a 1999. And uh, you can see the difference in the color. Uh, bad. And then I get a 70 Jefferson's nickel. And then you can see this other one that I got that's stamped with the 41 on it. And then it's all blue on the back. So I don't know what the deal is with this thing. But uh, that was interesting. I got one copper uh, Lincoln and then a couple zincs. And then the prize of the day is a 1901 Indian head. And I'm going to see if I can use the magnifying glass if we can kind of maybe get it better. But it's a 1901 um, Indian head penny. The last find I had, the back is kind of crusty. Um, it can probably get cleaned off. It has a lot of sand. It was more found in a sandy area, and I think just some of the granules of sand is embedded in the coin. But that was an awesome find. I mean, that, that made my day. That made my two days in an Indian head penny. So in that park, I've already pulled out two Indian heads and a mercury dime and then a bunch of clad. But um, today, like I said on the video, it was kind of rough. I forgot my little mini digger, Samson mini digger. So anything that was really deeper than four inches was tough. This penny um, was six inches down, but where it was in that sandy area uh, near the wall where it got in a lot of sun, the soil was pretty good. So anyway, hope you can get out, do some digging. It's finally warmed up some up here in the great state of New Hampshire. And um, I'm just glad to be able to get out and swing the coil. So you guys have a great day and happy hunting.